the Gospel and the Covenants. Yeshia Hu Isaiah 40, 1-11 The Gospel is related to the New Covenant and is the ultimate fulfilment of all the covenants of God, Elohim. The Gospel emerges in Isaiah 40, 1-11, bringing comfort to Israel and the good news that the glory of the Lord is about to be revealed. A voice crying in the wilderness will prepare the way of Adonai. The Lord God will come, and like a shepherd he will tend his flock. This text is followed by the description of the servant of the Lord in Isaiah 42. In chapter 52, Yeshua here expresses this hope to Israel and mentions the good news again. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news of good things. Verse 7 The Lord will show his salvation in the sight of the nations, and the God of Zion will reign and restore Yerushalayim. This is followed by a description of the suffering servant of Adonai. In Yeshua Hu, Isaiah 53. The good news announced here is that God, Elohim, will accomplish his word to Israel, redeem them and restore them to the land of promise. They will live in peace and their sins will be forgiven. This is good news indeed. And it requires the coming of the servant of Adonai, who would suffer to remove sin. This is consistent with the Jewish understanding that salvation is not about going to heaven, but instead about the full restoration of the creation through the Messiah of Israel. The four Gospels base their message on Isianic prophecy. Each begins with the coming of Yochanan the Immerser, John the Baptist, as the voice crying in the wilderness. He is not the Messiah, but announces the coming of the Messiah and the restoration of the kingdom of Israel. Yochanan identifies Yeshua as the one who will give the Rosh Hashanah, the Holy Spirit. This one is a suffering servant, the promised one, who, like Yosef, Joseph, will be misunderstood by his brothers and through his rejection and suffering become their salvation and comfort. The Gospel writers demonstrate that Yeshua is both the suffering one, son of Yosef, and the coming one, son of David, who will reign in the restored kingdom. His birth is described to the shepherds as good news of great joy which shall be for all the people, first to Israel and then to the nations. This very day, in the town of David, there was born for you a deliverer, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke 2, 10-11 The Gospel is the good news that this suffering one has died once and for all to put away the sin of Israel and of the whole world. And because of his resurrection, death has been conquered. Yeshua ascended into heaven as the great high priest of the old of Malchizedek, Malchizedek, and he is now seated at the right hand of God, a return to restore the kingdom of Israel and the whole creation of God, Elohim, as King of kings and Lord of lords. On that day, Yeshua will be seated on the throne of David in Jerusalem forever. Yeshua's return will include the gathering of Israel, both the living and the dead, from the nations of their dysposia, and so all Israel will be saved. In this, all of the covenants will be brought into full operation and fulfillment, and the Gentiles will be included through what Shaw Paul calls the mystery of the gospel.